hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is sylvia and you're welcome back to sylvia circle for those of you that don't know me i am a medical student in abia state university i'm also a content creator in today's video we're going to be talking about what you need to know before studying optometry i've done a video similar to this but i emphasized on what you need to know before studying optometry in nigeria so i was really specific with giving details about studying optometry in nigeria and i did that two years ago when i was a junior clinician but now i'm a senior clinician i'm in my final year so i feel like i have way more knowledge compared to before so here is a video on what you need to know before studying optometry in nigeria <music> Of the obvious point for optometrists differs from ophthalmology so know which way to take if you know you are interested in going into the surgical aspect of the eye and having full access into doing different surgical procedures concerning the eyes then you go for medicine and when you go for medicine you then specialize and become an ophthalmologist but you if you know that you want to focus on the pathological refractive and being able to dispense glasses and check the normal health of the eyes then you can go for optometry optometry goes in for six years in nigeria and a lot of western countries around the world but in some countries you can see it for about four years and in some countries maybe less but for nigeria you get six years this six years covers a lot of time for you to really gain an in-depth knowledge of what optometry is about pathological aspect the refractive aspect and also the binocular vision aspect so at least this six years has up a lot of time for you to properly and properly learn how to be an optometrist how to manage a clinic and how to communicate with patients that's what most of you will be thinking this is a very long time yes that's the same thing i thought it's an extremely long time but optometry is a very very broad course the eye is a very special organ for you not to see it's kind of a big deal so they have to make sure that they screen and they teach us and get to learn on learn relearn and go over and over again just so that that you can be very good because that damaging an organ such as the eye is a very very huge risk for my third point optometry is extremely taxing if you know you want to study this course you know you have to put in your all you need to literally put in your effort that is what is required of you it has been taken as a very very serious and very very vital course they want to screen students till they get the best it's same in all universities it's extremely taxing i just finished from a meeting and students the only thing they could discuss is how taxing optometry is sometimes it may be referred to as ridiculous but i see it as needful you need to know all these different things in optometry when you come in as a normal student they teach you the basics from your freshers your 100 level they teach you the basics when you go into 200 level they are bringing you generally bringing you a little bit into optometry in 300 level they are teaching you the foundational courses teaching you your anatomy your physio your ocular anatomy your ocular physio they haven't teaching you psychology and they're taking you physiology and a lot of courses now when you come into 400 level they are teaching you your how to do a little bit of your clinical procedures they are putting um, pathological cases they are teaching you what you should know clinically in optometry 500 level they are gradually introducing you into the clinical aspect of optometry making you to do tests pushing you more into the pathological aspect of optometry giving you more knowledge you know to gain your ground and then finally 600 level that's when you get to see a patient so 600 level is more of practice so with this whole thing is extremely taxing i cannot vouch for any level and say this is the easiest for my 100 level to 600 level all of them were hard i can't lie and i feel like the higher you go the worse it gets i'm not telling you you're going to relax in 600 level if that's what you want to hear that's not happening you're coming to 600 level to work i actually thought that my 600 level my year of relaxing but i am still here suffering so i can't tell you that my final point i know you guys want more points but this is the final one i'm going to talk about the universities that offer optometry there are a lot of universities that offer optometry internationally optometry is doing a very prestigious course is carried on a high note so there are a lot of universities offered in a lot of countries now i'm going to just emphasize the one in nigeria in nigeria we have a lot of universities studying optometry like five years ago we were like six or so and the last video i made i emphasized that we we're like six to seven universities studying optometry but in the period of five years up to four new universities came up and they are now studying optometry here's the list of the ones that i know in nigeria so for the newbies that's the universities that recently joined um offering optometry as a course we have usman dafa 
DU University is located in Sokoto State and that is just like one of the US additions of universities that study in optometry. We have Novena University. Novena University are still new and they are still new over there. We have Afe Babalala University. These are the new universities that just introduce optometry. Now we have the OG universities. Um, the first university to ever offer optometry was the University of Bini. University of Bini is the first and the first university to ever offer optometry. Now the second, we have Abia State University. Abia State University was the second university to ever study optometry. But Abia State University was the first university to ever offer an OD degree. That is, other universities were given four years to study and become an optometrist, but with time we added an OD degree for us to be addressed as doctors. And Abia State was the first university to offer that. Then we have Imo State University. It is a state university located in Imo State and they offer optometry. We also have University of Ilorin. University of Ilorin joined us like some years back. We have like two graduating sets, I think. And then we also have Madonna University. Madonna University has been there for a while. It's a very good university too. Then we have Bayero University Kano. University Kano is a little bit new but they have been there for a while These are the university studying optometry in nigeria and i hope that this information has been a big big help to each and every one of you watching this video if you have any questions for me leave it down in the comment section below i answer questions with the speed of light i answer questions for you guys and also if you are a new optometry student there is a society that has been set out for each and every one of you so that you don't feel alone this society houses different um, students from different university and the name is optometry student community osc i just got introduced to it newly and i can say i am so grateful that optometry finally has a platform like that so please find out about it and join in thank you guys so much for watching this video be sure to like comment subscribe know that you subscribing will help me a lot to grow have a wonderful day god bless you bye